Hello my gorgeous Aquarius, welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope you're all feeling absolutely fantastic. I hope the week has been wonderful for all of you. Aquarius, let's get straight into it. I don't like to lose any time. Let's dive in head first. I'll clear the deck. Aquarius, this week I want to talk about a situation quite specific for the beautiful collecting watching this. And it is in regard to someone that you already know, regardless if you're talking to them or not, or if you're actually physically in the relationship or you're not with them anymore. And the big question here is, well, can this relationship, this connection, can it ever be saved? Is it worth saving? Should you wait for this person as you continue on with your life? Or is it a good idea to move on? Some of you may already know, so I might confirm it for you. Um, or let it come, let it flow, let's stay open. Aquarius, I might actually just uh, give you some new information about this person. So here we go. Now, Aquarius, as I do shuffle, I do encourage you to subscribe. There is a lot of free content here available for you. Um, and that way you're guaranteed to never ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I, Fifi, do for you here in Australia every single Friday. It is the 19th of July and heads up, on August the 4th, we are entering a Mercury retrograde. So, also, this Saturday, so tomorrow at 12 p.m., I will be uploading your weekend mini bonus love, uh, I can't even talk, your mini bonus love tarot reading. I will be personally be doing your reading. Um, so you may get even additional information based on what we talk about today, or even just new information um, that you should be aware of. There we go, last one, for the next few weeks. For those that still wish to have a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with Gigi, I'm closed for personal readings. But for those that wish to have a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with Gigi, where she covers everything from love, career, finances, and everything else in between, all that information is in the description box below, including the links to our heavily, and I say that with a capital H, our heavily, still heavily reduced online master tarot course, where you get taught exclusively by myself and Fifi, and also our ebook slash workbook, which is dedicated to you. It is called Self Love. All right, here we go. They're saying three more, two more, last one. Here we go for my beautiful water bearers. Here we go, bottom of the deck. Who is taking action? What's going on? Is it you, Aquarius? Are you thinking of taking action here? Are you feeling a little bit upbeat and um, ambitious about this connection? If you're not, then clearly it is your person, regardless of gender or age or star sign, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Literally, this is the only uh, queen and even the king equally and rightfully so that they are the first ones to take action. Why? Because they still believe in this, right? There is still gusto, there is passion here. Let's see. After a lot of time of thinking. Wow. And this particular hermit is casting with that lantern, casting light back into the past. Obviously, maybe there's been some issues between the both of you, right? Especially if this person has not comported themselves correctly. But this is the thing. I think both of you are really thinking about each other. And there is that, I think passionately with our heart, we are entertaining the thought of casting light back into the situation. And with that staff, which you have both earned, is really kind of approaching it with from a place of wisdom and experience you know this is a lot of introspection here we've got the two of swords and that is uh libra energy but it is a sword and it still does cover gemini and aquarius i feel like some of you are at a fork in the road i don't know if i should you know even take that first step to meet this person in the middle or if they come to me should i even meet them so sometimes this is when we are procrastinating we are a little bit very indecisive actually Many of you might not even be ready to meet this person or even prepare to talk to them. But you've got my number one favorite card here. Wow. It's the, and it's the sun. I make a big deal out of this, even during our um, signature online master tarot course. And Leo season is literally only a, a few days away. It's around the corner. And it is the happiest card. It is the most powerful card and it's all about illumination here there is light at the end of the tunnel with possibly the opportunity here with that eight of cups pisces energy to either so that's why i'm seeing that some of you are indecisive but you will get your answer you will get that illumination either to walk away from this person and find your own happiness or when they do approach you there might be that opportunity to leave the past behind but i want to see where you're more leaning towards let's see yes yeah, see seven of cups could be dealing with a scorpio Again, some of you are just emotionally 
overwhelmed, a bit confused, right? Feeling a little bit spread thin, like sp flat, really. We just don't know yet. And this is often because we never received some type of clarity, an apology or an explanation from this person, especially if they were wishy-washy. So let's get some clarity about this because the sun is going to promise that uh, you're going to have that illumination, the aha moment, whether to stay and leave the past behind, but we take our lessons with us. That's why we have the wise sage, which is the hermit. Or we do we leave this person behind permanently? Main messages, please. The Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. That's my favorite knight. Yeah, this person will be returning. That's why there is a reason why you are drawn to watching this reading. The Knight of Pentacles is my favorite knight. Like I said, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, because when this knight finally arrives, they arrive very loyal, believe it or not, yes? Very practical, very grounded. And we know that the knights always carry, doesn't matter which knight, they carry that four, the four magic, right? Or the magic four, which is messages, changes, offers, and transitions of a solid kind. And I feel like it's to make peace and to meet you in the middle, especially with that six of cups, Scorpio energy, blast from the past, that is reunion. Wow, it's having fun together, having genuine belly laughs, being nostalgic on our own, but also together here. Yeah, this is going to be a surprise. There's going to be a lot of movement around you, especially if some of you have, if it's self-imposed isolation, we're a little bit hermity, we only go out to work and we come straight back home. Um, we cancel our gym membership, we just work it at home, boom, that's when we get it because this is the surprise card. Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, this can represent a small apology, right? Such as, I'm sorry I was missing an action. Sorry that you haven't heard from me. I'm sorry I disappeared. Sorry it took me so long to message you because this is very slow moving energy. Like it's, they're definitely on their way, but it's painstakingly slow like a snail, right? And we've got that reunion. We've got messages sandwiched in the middle is that reunion. So we do have apologies, but this also does represent a budding romance. So it is pretty clear that this person wants to start something again with you, with you. We have the star exclusively represented here by you, Aquarius energy. That big fat star there is the North Star, the big wish with all the other stars show the, all the other little wishes and blessings that are in store for you. Hope, faith, renewal, and look at that, the chance to wash away all the past pain, and it's, it's a card of destiny. So this is meant to be, regardless of how you feel, regardless how you feel, it's asking you to see things from a different angle now with the hanged man, Pisces energy from a different perspective. And you will, you will see things from a new light because the head here, the brain, the mind is illuminated here. I see that a lot of you are going to be thinking long and hard about these messages, about this person's arrival. I feel like it's going to be sudden and you are going to be surprised. Some of you might be pleasantly surpri surprised or even flattered. But yeah, I feel like you're unsure because you, there is something here that happened between you and this person where you don't have the clarity. For example, if this person decided to walk away or you both went your separate ways, there was always that question mark. Why did that happen? There is still hope yet. I forgot they were naked. I don't want to offend anyone here. I'm so sorry. But we do have the lovers, Gemini energy. Um, and of course, this is often talking about the perfect match. We have Archangel Raphael there in the middle. Blessing here, this situation. The clouds show, again, we are thinking about each other where the love and the respect is actually still mutual, right? Your person is returning because they are making a choice from their hearts because they do want to be with you. I just already knew they want to start something with you again. But of course, now... No pressure, right? It's not really that bad choice or pressure to have, but this does fall on you. And the cards are asking you, especially in the outcome, well, what do you want? I see that you're unsure. Everything's still up in the air. Do you want to give this another go? Let's see. I feel like a lot of you may be just kind of waiting. We're going back and forth between I've accepted it's over. I want to move forward. But then, you know, there's a small fraction a little piece of your heart that is like a, they're showing there's a little light there's your heart and there's a little light and it's saying what if you know we've got the knight of pentacles again i think if so you are prepared to take this slow because you're very practical remember aquarius i say this every week you have been everyone says it. you are the number one most intelligent star sign but this is a very big serious decision for you so you're not going to take it lightly two more 
last one. I feel also we need some patience, but not patience for this person to return. Patience with yourself. Patience with your emotions. Let it come and let it flow. This person will, it's almost like they're going to be revealing where they've been. I feel like a lot of you are saying, where'd you go? Where have you been? And I'm hearing, it's like story time. I'm, I'm hearing that the, the, both of you are going to be speaking from the heart and really kind of catching up with what's been happening. I don't feel that you hate this person, you know, but what is it that you're so unsure of? Perhaps you saw a side to them, you're like, you know what, eh, I don't know if I'm even that attracted to you anymore. Or I'm not feeling the same way. And that is fine because feelings change, right? Here we go. Five. Ooh. Okay. Four. Three. Two. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of you want answers from this person. Here we go. And you will. You absolutely will because you got the sun. Bottom of the deck, yeah. Let's talk about what happened. We've got the death card, Scorpio energy, but this is linked to your destiny, your timeline. So it is also the star. We've got the sun coming up, more illumination, despite those jagged mountains which show the challenges, right? Even the hurt. The butterfly coming out of chrysalis. We've got the red. There is still passion there, right? I love here that the death card. For me, I, I think it's always a positive card because, yes, let's talk about how things ended, the death of the relationship. But it's instantly replaced by rebirth, which leads to transformation, the shiny new version of this relationship. So we've got the king and the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're compatible. You bounced off each other. You finish each other's sentences. You got, you know, the inside joke here. So yeah, there will be action. You will meet them in the middle. They told me to only look back four. Yeah. Eight of wands, four of cups, Sagittarius, Cancer, energy. Yeah, I think some of you have been quite um, melancholic over this person. And then boom, lo and behold, with the second fastest energy in the deck, even if this person is near or far away, doesn't matter about geographical distance, we've got the wind and the leaves blowing in this person's hair and their body, they're running against the wind, you're going to get a lot of messages and I see that you will be responding. Wow. I see the interaction between the both of you is quite positive and it's going to be very healing. Yeah, let's drop those wands. In fact, I feel like there's been more stress. We've been feeling the weight of the world on our shoulders being separate from each other. So enough is enough, right? Where do we draw that line in the sand? No more stress, no more heartache, no more burdens. Ten of wands, Sagittarius energy, and all the tens are the end of a cycle. That's going to roll over to the ace, which is a brand new, magical, exciting new start. Knight of Pentacles, please. Yep, is the Eight of Swords. Gemini energy. Clearly, this person, as we can see, they're cutting themselves free. So no more holding back. So if you're wondering, why is it that this person took so long? Guilty conscience, maybe? Nervous? Anxious? Afraid? Apprehensive? That's their ego card. Worst case scenario, Aquarius is going to bite my head off. You know, Aquarius is going to cut me off. Um, but they're still going to bite the bullet and they're going to do it. Now we know why they've taken so long. But here we go with the return with that six of cups, the lovers. This is why this person is returning. I'm not going to sugarcoat this, right? And I, and I, I don't say this lightly. This person is returning because they absolutely love you. They still love you. Look at that. We're literally binding ourselves with that beautiful ribbon. They're making the choice from the heart, despite their fears. I'll push through it, right? Again, uh, Aquarius, you know, we've already got two cards. Your spirit team are urging you to look within your heart. That is your heart chakra. What is your gut instinct telling you upon this person's return? I don't feel like it's that bad. And I feel some of you are really going to give this person the benefit of the doubt. Meet them in the middle and see where it goes, right? See for yourself. Page of Cups, what's part of the conversation, please? Some regret here. Um, perhaps what this person said or did. Even regret that they didn't even approach you sooner. Five of Cups, Scorpio energy. We've got the Lady of the Night blowing out the, you know, basically the flames of love and passion. So this is all about regret, right? And even your person may even express, and I feel like you will be expressing this as well, just with a different sentence, right? Both of you have been missing each other, mourning the death of this relationship, the loss of this relationship. That's why I see the first primary topic here will be how things ended with the death card. This is going to be very healing between the both of you. And I, it's almost like now you're going to start realizing how much you actually missed each other. Let it come and let it flow. They literally, they're going to push past that mental fear. Let's talk about you. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. The only thing you wanted 
was to be loved, to have a, a hug. Everything that you wanted in a relationship was free. Love, loyalty, security, for someone to have your back here. Many of you actually want to be married, or at least if you don't want to, you just want to feel like you're in a secure, grounded relationship. And I love that you've got a good head on your shoulders. You know what you want. You've always known what you wanted, Aquarius. And I feel like they know that and they want to provide that for you. This is making me a bit emotional. <laughs> I never get emotional. I actually never get emotional during readings. But I can see here that you have a heart of gold. You've got good intentions. Now, now it's your turn for this person to prove it to you. That they don't want to go anywhere. Oh, wow. Well. I'm actually lost for words. This never happens to me. <laughs> okay, the hanged man, please. You got my third favorite card in the deck. The four of wands, Aries energy, a celebration of both of you finally coming together, even after a period where you were not sure, we were still a little bit apprehensive in due time. This is all about commitment, engagement, marriage, moving in together or moving back in together, all of course in due time, right? It's a beautiful card of celebration. We're finally home. You represent home and this person represents home. Wow. This is probably why the lovers came out twice and your spirit team are urging you. It's like you're very logical. That's the thing. Yeah. You're very intellectual. But this time, just for this time, we need to think with our heart. What is the lovers telling you, please? Let it come and let it flow. The two of wands. Look at that Aries energy stepping into the unknown, taking that first step, even if we're afraid or apprehensive. And the twos guarantee that if you step, if you take that step, this person takes that step as well, which they will. This leads to new love, that brand new partnership here. It's very brave of you. It's brave of this person to return because they don't know how you're going to respond. Hence why they're nervous, right? They're scared. They're anxious. But it's very brave of you to put your heart out there to retrust someone and hoping that they're not going to break your heart you know, stomp on it, smash it into pieces. That's not going to happen because we have the death card. Huge transformation here. Aquarius, this is far from over. This can be saved. Absolutely. And there's going to be an opportunity to leave the past behind. Look at this. Let's really look at this, right? You've got more cards for this relationship rather than against it. We've got more feelings rather than, oh, but you did this and these challenges and all that. The devil, temptation, yeah, your person's going to be apologizing with that page of cups again, five of wands. If there was competition, if there was um, any form of temptation, any toxicity here or the shadow side, I feel like this person cannot apologize enough. This is beautiful. Aquarius, let it come, let it flow. Something obviously will be happening even before Scorpio season, which let's be honest, it's not that far off. This, we're already in the second half of the year. So I'm really happy for you and for this person. I wish you nothing but the very, very best. I'm actually hearing this has been a long time coming. You've been more than patient. So now it's your turn. Fall in love. Be in love. I love it. I will see you this Saturday for your weekend bonus love tarot reading. Power to you. Never, ever change for anyone. And I will see you next Friday. Bye, Aquarius.